of course that was happening and we've seen it on twitter yesterday is the murder of david mayaka he's a dci officer so if you saw the cctv uh, footage you would see how that situation really happened tell us what kenyans are saying about it yeah one, one of the things that kenyans are talking about uh, about that specific video uh, it's like a three minute uh, video uh, but one of the things that caught the attention of kenyans is uh while the attack happened he was apparently was a, uh, like appearing to fix his car on on the roadside then some people came like uh, on a boda boda ride and they started attacking him and yeah, i think he was also uh, driving with with his wife or or his spouse at that time then she mm -hmm. she starts shouting uh, gunshots are heard and then the people who attacked them f uh, fled but what is most surprising to Kenya is just a few minutes later, I think maybe two to ten to two, two minutes later, a police van uh, appears. Now after the, the 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 guys had fled, there's a police van that seems to pass by and it stops momentarily. It looks at the situation. The woman is crying out for help, shouting for help, asking to be taken to hospital. But the police van just comes and goes away. So Kenyans are asking, why did the police van? Uh, not attend to 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 the issue uh, immediately. Maybe a life will have been will have been saved uh, if they, they had acted quick. So Kenyans are questioning: mm -hmm. Is this really uh, uh, thugs killing, or they are, they are they're really wondering why did the police not help? And remember, this is coming at a time when uh, the police are being accused of police brutality. Remember, mm -hmm. the police IG uh, called me uh, the other day said that. Uh, uh, the opposition had had bo bodies from morgues and then morticians came and uh, dismissed his, his, his claims. So there's a lot about people are, are talking about the police generally in Kenya and uh, people are saying that there's a lot of unprof unprofessionalism in how they do their work. Right, of course, that incident was pretty sad, actually, when you watch the clip. Mm -hmm. But let's move to Uganda now. Um, we had seen reports that the World Bank has sanctioned um, Uganda due to the LGBT law that's, of course, that was put in place. Tell mm -hmm. us about that. Yeah, of course, uh, we are aware now, I think it was on uh, Tuesday, that the World Bank issued a statement saying that they, they, are, they are going to, to sanction uh, Uganda and stop any approval of funds uh, f to the country. But then uh, uh, Uganda's president, Shuri Museveni, uh, through a handwritten letter, uh, gave a quite uh, a, a telling statement. Uh, he was addressing the nation, basically. The first part of the letter says, uh, talks about the status of the country, that uh, they are doing well. But now the second part of the letter is addressed to, to World Bank. And he's telling Ugandans that uh, we will survive without your loans. And uh, he was basically telling them we don't need World Bank loans or anybody's loans mm -hmm. to, to, to do development in our country. And, 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 and Kenyans are really, uh, have come to, to some or congratulate the Ugandan uh, president Museveni for that act because uh, they are saying that it's all about... Uh, them have or uh, having autonomy having independence and not being influenced uh, by 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 the european powers remember some analysts have have came have come out to to criticize the world bank for that move and some of them are saying that this is basically uh, cultural imperialism and, mm -hmm. and and the world bank mostly does this maybe to countries that are not very well off uh, financially so there's a lot of talk on twitter about uh, that move and uh, uh, split but most people are actually congratulating President Museveni for that uh, boldness. Yeah, of course, because the topic is LGBT situation is very, very sensitive in Africa. Yeah. But let's now move on to a bit of an interna uh, international, more of entertainment story. Uh, musician Rihanna is launching her maternity line. We know she's expecting her second baby. Tell us about that. Yeah, so uh, Rihanna has uh, launched a new maternity line. Uh, and, and basically what, what she said is that uh, First, it was to boost uh, confidence and uh, and com on, and comfort of, of mothers at every stage of their of their pregnancy and even and lactation. And and I've seen reviews of of, of, of the maternity capsule that but that uh, she has launched, uh, which include features that will make it easier for moms who are multitasking, whether they're at home or they are on the move. Uh, I've seen there's a there's a feature like their bras that uh, 
have one strip so that uh, have strips that can allow one to mm -hmm. to to operate with with one hand so she's she's basically saying that uh, she wants to as much as uh, mothers are, are taking care of their babies that they should also feel uh, sexy comfortable and confident at the same time love that love that she looks pretty good actually mm -hmm. um let's finally move to sports there's some um, transfer when it comes to football tell us about that yeah, so of course, uh, it's the Premier League is resuming today. Man City uh, are opening uh, the league today, but uh, the transfer window is still open, and there are a couple of transfer rumors that are continuing. Uh, the current one, I think, and, and the biggest one even that is trending on Twitter right now is uh, Moise Caicedo, uh, who's uh, apparently agreed a move to Liverpool. Remember, Mo Moise Caicedo was a player that has been quoted by several teams in the Premier League, and even outside, including Arsenal, Ma Man United, Chelsea, and even there were reports at some point that he was linked to a move to PSG, but now Liverpool seems to come and hijack that move. So it will be a very interesting a thing to see in the coming days. Of, of, of course, we also have still uh, the rumors of Harry Kane moving to, to Bayern. Uh, there are still uh, rumors that uh, Bayern has, uh, has offered a contract and uh, they are talking to Harry Kane and uh, Tottenham. So remember, Tottenham, uh, Harry Kane had said that, uh, had asked that he wants the move to, to be completed uh, before the Premier League starts soon. So that is also on the transfer rumors. Uh, uh, finally, I think the last two I can say, Harry Maguire to, to West Ham is also a move that is big because uh, Harry Maguire is, it was the Man United captain and was at one time uh, the most expensive uh, defender in terms of the price that he was bought, but he's being sold uh, way cheaply and has to go uh, a salary cut to, to, to complete his move. And lastly, mm -hmm. of course, also Fred from Man United. Uh, uh, there are also rumors that he has agreed deals to go to Fanabach. So that's it from, from the sports uh, desk. Right. Thanks for that. That's uh, Kiliad Msafiri there telling us about what's trending in the country and of course globally. Uh, we want to take a short break here on News Diary. We'll be back with more. Don't go too far.